Hello to you and happy Monday. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon time to get an update on the tropics in the first few weeks of hurricane season have been fairly quiet. We did briefly have Arlene, which was in the Gulf of Mexico and briefly became a tropical storm before it fell apart. But now the tropics are really starting to heat up and usually this time of hurricane season, we don't have much action at all this far out in the Atlantic. But now we have not one, but two systems out there. So we've got double trouble. And as of the last 30 minutes or so, we now have another tropical storm out in the central Atlantic and the name is Brett. So we've had Arlene, that was our first tropical storm of the season in the Gulf and our second tropical storm officially now named Brett. Just to the east southeast of that one, we've got another tropical wave developing in the eastern Atlantic and it looks fairly impressive as well. So I would not be surprised if this system was upgraded to a tropical depression or tropical storm as well within the next couple of days. So these two systems bear some close monitoring because they could quickly flare up and become stronger. We already have one that's become a tropical cyclone and that is Brett and it is a tropical storm. It is also forecast to become a hurricane. So let's look at the current coordinates, what it's doing now, where it's headed and if it's going to impact us at this point, it is still pretty far out in the Atlantic, basically across the central Atlantic maximum sustained winds around 40 miles per hour movement to the west at 21 miles per hour and pressure right at 1008 millibars. It is looking fairly symmetrical out there. It's getting more organized and that's why it did become a tropical storm so quickly. It just became a tropical depression earlier today and now it's already a tropical storm. So let's check out the forecast. Still a tropical storm as we go into this evening, but likely a category one hurricane as we go into Wednesday afternoon with 75 mile per hour winds and it likely is forecast to become a category one stronger hurricane around Thursday, 1 p.m., 80 mile per hour wind. So that's what the current National Hurricane Center forecast calls for right now. As we go into Friday afternoon, still a category one hurricane, 75 mile per hour winds. And Saturday, 1 p.m., 70 mile per hour winds as it gets close to San Juan, Puerto Rico. It looks at this point like it will move right over parts of the Lesser Antilles and then up towards portions of Puerto Rico, maybe skirting just to the south of Puerto Rico. After that, the computer models kind of diverge on where it's headed. Some of them curve it off to the north and east. Some of them push it on through the Caribbean. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But for now, we're not in any danger from this system because it's still several days out. It's not going to reach the Puerto Rico area likely until Saturday. Of course, that's the weekend, so we've still got some time to watch it. But certainly, Tropical Storm Brett will be monitored closely to see if there's any shot that that would impact us. All is fairly quiet in the Gulf of Mexico right now. No tropical cyclones expected over the next couple of days. The Caribbean quiet for now, but of course, folks, especially in the Eastern Caribbean, over towards Guadalupe and up towards Puerto Rico, monitoring the progress of Brett, which is now a tropical storm. This is the second system that I mentioned earlier. It has a 40% shot for tropical cyclone development over the next two days and a 50% chance to become a tropical cyclone over the next five to seven days. So we're certainly monitoring things very closely. It does look fairly impressive. It's gaining some energy and gathering strength as well. So like I said earlier, would not be surprised if that did become a tropical depression in the next 24 to 48 hours. Why are we getting these systems out in the Atlantic? Well, we have abnormally warm waters out there. Usually the waters are not this warm during this part of the year. And so we don't really anticipate a lot of development coming off the coast of Africa and that far out in the Atlantic. Typically, we expect those tropical cyclones to develop in the Gulf of Mexico and start to either push north or off to the west. Another area that we usually watch this time of the year, which is June, of course, the western sections of the Caribbean, and we also monitor the west and southwestern portions of the Atlantic. But we're talking about a tropical storm out in the central Atlantic and a tropical wave and other disturbance developing in the eastern Atlantic. So that is kind of abnormal, but we have very warm sea surface temps out there, even in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. We're talking about low to middle 80s, and it's the same story for a big chunk of of the Atlantic, 
water temps in the 80s. So when you have water that warm, that is going to help these systems form. And then when you have other conditions coming together just right in the atmosphere, you can get those tropical cyclones even far out into the Atlantic. So we've had Arlene and we just had Brett named not long before I started doing this update. So we'll put a check mark on that one. So if we do have that other system just off to the east southeast of Brett developed, that one would be named Cindy. And hopefully we won't get too far down this list anytime soon, but you can see the rest of the names that we have on hand for the rest of hurricane season. And of course, the four new names that replace Harvey, Irma, Maria, and Nate that were retired from 2017. Of course, due to all the damage that they did, we of course got to experience some catastrophic damage from Harvey with all of that rainfall. So hopefully nothing like that for us anytime soon. We definitely are not going to have to deal with any sort of tropical activity for the next few days with the big heat dome or area of high pressure over us. But still, now is the time to be preparing for a tropical storm or a hurricane coming when things are fairly quiet. You want to make sure to get an insurance checkup, check with your agent, get your policy out, read through it carefully, know what it says, know the details, know if you're protected, know if you're covered, especially with that flood insurance and just insurance in general protecting all aspects of your home just make sure that you are protected and you have the coverage that you want and need and you need to definitely consider that flood insurance if you don't have any especially living in southeast texas it's also a good idea to keep your documents with you if you were to evacuate for a tropical storm or a hurricane and you were to come back and your home was damaged and those documents were not there then it would be very difficult so you definitely need to make sure that you are covered, you're prepared, and try to keep those documents with you. That's one of the things you can do to try to prepare and be ready for what could be coming. So we are into the middle portion of June. We've still got a long ways to go with our hurricane season. We have not even made it to the peak, which would usually be around August, September. The absolute peak right around September 10th, September 11th. That's when we really look for those systems to really start blowing up and get going but we're starting early. We've got two systems out there right now we're watching. One of them, of course, has turned into a tropical storm and it, the name is Brett. So we'll be tracking that closely. If you would like to keep track, you can always download our Fox 26 weather app. You can get all of the latest tropical weather updates, forecast cones, our follow me feature. And of course, if and when we get some hurricane watches and warnings, those will be posted there as well. So that's all I have for you today. Things are starting to get busy out there in the tropics, but fortunately, as I mentioned, nothing going on in the Gulf of Mexico that would be headed towards the Houston area. So quiet for now, but like I said, now is the time to go over your hurricane preparedness plan and make sure you are ready just in case things start to heat up closer to us. So once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Stay safe out there, keep cool, and have a great evening.